an Egyptian goddess with the grace of a feline but the fierceness of a lioness, one of the most important and beloved deities in the Egyptian pantheon, revered for her many qualities including protection, motherhood and fertility. Her influence on the culture of ancient Egypt is still felt today and her image continues to be an inspiration to people around the world. Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to Pantheon Mythology. In today's video, we'll be traveling to ancient Egypt and exploring the background of Egypt's favorite lion turned pussy, Bastet. Get your heads out of the gutter, you dirty buggers. Anyway, shall we? Bastet's origins can be traced back to the Old Kingdom period of ancient Egypt, where she was initially worshipped as a fierce lioness goddess known as Bast. She was often depicted as a powerful and aggressive hunter who protected the pharaohs and their people from harm. However, over time, her image evolved and softened and she became associated with the domestic cat. Bastet is widely accepted to be the daughter of Ra, the sun god. However, some tales claim she was the daughter of Osiris and Isis, another two of the most important gods in the Egyptian pantheon. Her appearance is that of a woman with a cat's head or with the ears of a cat. In either form, she was a goddess of protection, motherhood and fertility, and her presence was felt throughout the homes and temples of ancient Egypt. Bastet's role in Egyptian mythology was complex and she was associated with many different things. As a goddess of protection, she was often invoked by those seeking protection from harm, both physical and spiritual. As a goddess of motherhood and fertility, she was believed to watch over women during childbirth and help them conceive. Her association with music, dance and joy also made her an important deity in Egyptian festivals and celebrations. This ferocious feline was one of the most important deities in ancient Egypt and her worship was widespread throughout the country. Her role as protector of the home and a goddess of motherhood and fertility made her particularly important to women who often sought her help with domestic matters and childbirth. Her image was often placed in households to protect the family from harm and many people wore amulets bearing her image for protection. In addition to her protective and nurturing qualities, Bastet was also associated with pleasure and happiness. Many festivals were held in her honor during which people would sing and dance and play music. Offerings of food and drink were also made to Bastet in the hopes of gaining her favor and protection. One of the most well-known stories involving Bastet comes from the myth of the Eye of Ra. In this myth, Ra, the sun god, sends his daughter Hathor to punish humanity for their disobedience. However, Hathor gets a little bit too much from this and becomes overly violent and uncontrollable. So Ra sends another daughter, our heroine Bastet, to bring her back to him. Big B manages to calm Hathor down by convincing her to take on the form of a cat and play with a ball of yarn. As they play, Hathor gradually transforms back to her gentle self and together they travel back to Ra. This story is significant because it highlights Bastet's role as a protector and mediator. She was able to calm even the most violent and powerful of the gods and bring them back to a peaceful state. Her association with cats also plays a significant role in this story, as it is their playful and calming nature that helps to pacify Hathor. Today, Bastet's image continues to be a popular symbol in modern culture. Her association with cats has made her particularly beloved among cat lovers around the world and her image can be found on everything from jewelry to clothing. Her influence can be seen in popular culture, where she has been featured in numerous books, movies and TV shows. However, Bastet's legacy goes beyond mere imagery. Her qualities of protection, motherhood and fertility continue to be revered in Egypt and across the world. What are your thoughts on Bastet then? Are you a cat or dog lover? Or both? Let us know in the comments. I can say I am. My cat though is called Marmalade Tiger. I think I should have called him Bastet. I can imagine shouting that from the back door every evening. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe as it really helps us grow and we release new mythologically delicious content every week. Be sure to check out our clothing brand Pantheon Apparel 2. 
It features designs inspired by mythologies from across the world, including the star of today's video. We're rated excellent on Trustpilot and ship worldwide. You'll find a link in the description. Click on the video on the left here to watch a video that YouTube has chosen for you and on the right here is our binge playlist if you want to go on a journey across the pantheons. But most important of all, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.